Welcome back to the show. Let's get it started, right? My first guest tonight was the head football coach from 1996 to 2004. He is the most successful coach in Marshall football history. 94 wins, five MAC championships, and five postseason bowl victories. Please welcome Coach Bob Pruitt. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. Yes, sir. Coach Pruitt, thank you for coming on our show. We really appreciate it. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, thanks for getting us motivated a little earlier. Oh, that was fun. That uh, was fun. I can tell you've done that before, haven't you? Well, a couple of times. A couple, couple of times. times. Well, let's, yes, talk some, let's talk some football real quick. What was it like getting your team motivated before a game? Well, you, the theory that I always had was, uh, you know, there are certain games that uh, that the community and the and the particular game will motivate your guys, and you really didn't need to do a whole lot, so you didn't want to do a whole lot because uh, you didn't want your players to hear the same thing or you know go through the same routine. You wanted to be able to have the most effect. So you before the season, we'd try to figure out which games that what we would have to do more to to get them ready to play which games that they would automatically get themselves ready to play. And then, uh, uh, and then there was always the, the ones in the middle where we all had to work on it. Well, what game sticks out in your mind as the best game that you ever coached? Think about that for a second. <laughs> what game? Well, I'd say that's hard. You know, they're all fun. I, hopefully, you know, you, d you did a great job in every game. But uh, certainly, uh, being realistic, I guess that, that that's not um, a truism. But... Uh, there was a lot of really fun games. Uh, you know, the, the, the thing about coaching is <clears throat> you, the, the victories don't last a long time. It's the losses that stay with you forever, and certainly heartbreaking losses. I, I, I still remember the Ohio State loss on the last second kick. I mean, we really played well up there, and we had a chance to win it all and, and, and to beat a you know, really good opponent. It would have been nice for our program and, and – and everything so that was that's sort of hard you remember you know what could you have done we missed three or four field goals had a lot of opportunities there uh the, the, some of the games where you really get beat bad <laughs> you know you remember that but so I, I was coaching for uh 40 some years and i way back from the high school days uh through the assistant coach and through the college days but uh there, there were a lot of fun great wins and uh Certainly the win down at, uh, in the GMAC Bowl where we came back, the biggest comeback. And, 30 points. Yeah, that was something. It was voted by ESPN one of the top ten comebacks in sport history, not just football. Well, and you also, you had some great players playing with you. You know, most recently, you know, Chad Pennington, mm -hmm. Byron Leftwich, Randy Moss. I mean, what was it like coaching those guys knowing that they're going to be playing at the next level? Well, we was fortunate the, the years I was here. We had a lot of really, uh, those three are certainly – uh, prominent because they were Heisman Trophy uh, finalists and uh, you know I think that that might be one of the things I'm the most proud of you know for a school the size of Marshall to be able to have three finalists in the Heisman Trophy and I mean we're looking right now at uh, at say WVU and, and they've got Slayton and White are both great players and right now we don't know if they're going to get to New York. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I think both of them deserve to go to New York, but it's hard to it's hard to be, you know, in the top five of the Heisman because that's just a, a great honor. I think that's a, a tribute to being able to, and a, a people say you can't, being in a small market at one of the uh, mid-level uh, universities and being able to have three athletes that, that get there because as you watch the Heisman Trophy race, one loss puts you out of the whole race. Yeah. It, you know, the guy at Arkansas, they keep, you know, he's lost four games. They keep discounting. He might be the best player in the country. So it's a popularity contest, and I'm really proud of our guys who stay popular throughout the year. Now, do you still have an opportunity to talk to Chad and Byron and Randy? Do they ever call you for advice? Hey, Coach, did you watch that game yesterday? What do you think? How often do you talk to them? We talk to them. In fact, I talked to Chad uh, this week, you know, and see how he's doing. And, uh, we we got some projects going together, and you know he's still a Marshall fan, and so is Byron. I talked to Byron after his surgery, and he's excited about living in Atlanta. And went up and saw Randy play versus the Jets, and uh, he's having a phenomenal mm -hmm. year. And 
you know, they're great ambassadors for our university. Well, listen, next time you talk to them, let them know about a little show called Up Late, if you don't mind. Have them, we'd love to have them sitting right yeah. here, maybe alongside you, Coach. Yeah. Well, a big reunion right yeah. here. Yeah, well, it'd be, it'd be an honor. I'm sure that uh, you know, when they get through with their playing career, they'll be glad to do it. Excellent. Well, Coach Pruitt, thank you for coming on our show. We really appreciate you. Coach Pruitt, everybody, thank you for being here. All right, stay with us. Right after the break, we'll be joined by Tyler Avers. Don't go anywhere.